In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to fix FaceTime and iMessage errors on your iPhone 7 or later. If you're experiencing issues with these essential features, don't worry. I'm here to help you troubleshoot and solve them efficiently. By the end of this guide, you'll have your FaceTime and iMessage back up and running smoothly. First, let's begin by checking your internet connection. The most common reason for errors with these apps is a weak or unstable network connection. Make sure you're connected to a strong Wi-Fi signal or a stable cellular network. Sometimes simply switching between Wi-Fi and mobile data can make a big difference, so don't hesitate to try that. Next, it's crucial to ensure your iOS is updated to the latest version. Updates can contain vital fixes for various functionalities, including FaceTime and iMessage. To check if there's an available update, go to Settings, then tap General, and finally select Software Update. If an update is available, install it. This might resolve the issues right away. Now, if the problem persists, it's time to toggle FaceTime and iMessage off and on. For FaceTime, head over to Settings and then tap on the Apps section. From there, find FaceTime and toggle it off. Wait a few seconds before switching it back on on. Repeat the same process for iMessage by going to Settings, navigating to Apps, selecting Messages, and doing the same toggling off and on. This simple act can refresh the connection for both apps and potentially fix any underlying issues. Another thing you want to check is ensuring your date and time are set automatically. This step is often overlooked but can lead to connection problems if not configured correctly. Just navigate to settings, then tap general, followed by date and time. Make sure the set automatically option is turned on so your device keeps the correct time according to your location. If none of these solutions have worked so far, consider restarting your device. A simple restart can be very effective as it clears temporary glitches that might be affecting the performance of apps. It's an easy yet sometimes underestimated step. Finally, if you're still encountering problems, resetting your network settings might be necessary, but remember, this will erase all saved Wi-Fi networks, so make sure you have your passwords handy. To proceed with this, go to Settings, then navigate to General, and tap Transfer or Reset iPhone. Choose Reset, and then Reset Network Settings. This action clears all your network configurations, allowing you to start fresh. By following these steps, you should have resolved any issues with FaceTime and iMessage on your iPhone 7 or later. Hopefully this guide has been helpful and you are once again enjoying seamless communication. Thank you for watching and feel free to reach out with any further questions or issues you might have.